Hey everybody, welcome to Women Carry Knives. Welcome back to Women Carry Knives. What do you have there, Therapeutic Edge? Uh, bacon cheese wrap. That looks phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, you guys. Hey, do me a favor. If you hit that like button, helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that like button. Just caress it a little bit, you know. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you here all the time. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell so it alerts you anytime I drop a new video. Or you don't have to. That's your choice. All right, you guys. This is a continuation to my um, Rosecraft Blades week. So, as I said in the last one, we did an unboxing. Gave you a quick look at each one. This is a more in-depth look. Um, I have had a chance to carry each of these for a little bit and want to give my thoughts on what I'm really thinking. And again, so far, not disappointed at all. Now, this is actually another one that was um, designed by Swags. You can see there. Oh. Designed by Miss Swags. Hang on one second. I have a dirty blade. You can't show a blade when it's dirty. It's just wrong. But see what happens when you carry it? All right. This one is the bar. Now, this is a great idea that she came up with. What's so great about it? Well, <laughs> we as women, now, I, okay, I guess I might be kind of the exception because I do carry... Um, hex wrenches and a screwdriver and stuff in my car. I always have something around and a knife. But for those of you that don't, or maybe you don't want to carry different things, this is what she came up with, and I think it's absolutely awesome. All right, now let's just tell you that it comes in the blue, the black, and the red G10. So you get three different choices and colors. Now, your blade is going to be uh, a stonewashed blade on the, bla on the blue and the red. But if you choose to get the black one, you are going to get this, you know, PVD coated one, which is really nice. Um, you are going to get this great AR RPM9 proprietary steel in this drop point blade. Nice, sleek, stabby. Uh, this is great. This is like almost a great pairing knife at the same time as it is just a good cutter. Great tool all around. What do I love about this? The thing that I think is really cool is that you're going to get this kind of all-in-one little tool at the end. Um, it's got a pry tip, which is awesome. It can be used as a cap lifter or bottle opener, however you want to say it. And it also has a great spot for your hex wrench. Um, or maybe you have some tips that are, you know, uh, Phillips or flathead and you want to put just the tip in there. See what I did there? Then you can use that, which is awesome. So you don't want to carry a pry bar? Great. Don't. Carry one of these. Then you don't have to worry about it. You've kind of got your knife and your pry bar and your screwdriver and your opener all in one, which is just awesome. All right, let's move a couple of these up. Um, now, I had mentioned when I had done the uh, the pocket monster that some of you may not like the the blade. You, some of you want the black blade. That's great. These go for $58.99. If you use my code, Women Carry Knives, it gives you a discount. Why not just grab two of them? You can get the black one and one of the colors of your choice, and then you can just switch out your blade. Um, and that way, you can have what it is you want. All right, let's move these up here. Oh, now, I'm just going to grab one and show you. Um, the G10 is very smooth, but has just enough grip to it. So there's just enough texture to it. If you can see that in this awful light, but you have just enough texture to it to where it's going to offer you a really good grip. These are all manuals, okay? So it's not a flipper. It's going to be thumb studs. Very, very smooth. They're running on ceramic bearings. This is another one that is a liner lock, which I absolutely, I'm just really liking the liner locks. What I love about it too is that um, you kind of have the indentation that's a little bit deeper on this side, which gives you better access to your liner lock. They all come really well centered. Your lockup on these, or at least on this one, is about. Why do I always grab the black blades to tell you what the lockup is? Because then I can never see it. All right, here you go. Your lockup on this one's about 45%, close to 50. So, really good. And again, these are all the same. What you're going to be getting on the blue and the. And I have not carried the red one, so you can see that one's still new, a little bit sticky. Um, the black is all black, so you're going to have 
you know, your black liners too, which is kind of cool. But you do get that little pop of color with your thumb stud and your pivot collar. Whereas your blue and your red are going to have the plain steel colored with your plain thumb studs and pivot collar. These all run on ceramic bearings, which just makes them super smooth. You can tell which one I've carried by if I can flick it or not. The one I've carried is the one that flips, so I chose the blue one to carry. Um, it does not take long to break in. Okay, so you saw this one is much easier because I've been using it. These I have not carried, but as you can see, I mean, you know, flip it a few times and basically you're broken in. It's really, really easy. They're super smooth and I love that about it. Now your handle, it's a great length. I'm loving this handle length because it's giving me full purchase on it. Um, Therapeutic Edge has larger hands. He can actually get all four fingers too, which is really nice. They're, what? There really is no need, <laughs> there really is no need for jimping on this knife. Um, the reason being is because of the length of the handle, which is great. And you can see, if you have a larger hand, the nice thing is because you do have this tool in the back, it's going to give you that little bit extra. Again, well thought out, the fact that this is reversible. So it is a right left hand carry. So my lefties out there, you're getting some lefty love. I love that, always thinking about that. And I do like that the uh, pocket clip is inset. So you can see that there, we'll show you this side. The beauty of that is that their pocket clip screws are also inset or flush, which is awesome. It's a great pocket clip. So far, all their knives have had great pocket clips. Nice and sturdy, enough tension there that it's going to stay in your pocket, but not too much tension to where it's a pain to get out of your pocket. So this is another one that I have actually um, carried in my pocket. I've always also carried this one on my waistband, um, and it has been comfortable both ways. I've not found an issue. Now, if you are a lanyard fan, this is not going to be a lanyard one, as you can see. Um, I don't really think, I, I don't know if people will put lanyards on the size knife, but it doesn't matter because you can't on this one. So anyways, it's got a great snap to it if you can hear that. Again, not the one I've been carrying, but you can see how easily that breaks in. Absolutely love it. Um, the blade... The reason I didn't carry this one is because of the blade. I don't want to ruin that blade because um, most likely this one will be given away. So we have um, been using this for, again, the things that we use it for. So our test is, you know, pulling out some paracord. We actually had a little piece of rope. We were cutting some of that. Um, of course, my tactical banana. And I also did a tactical apple because of the size of it, because it being like a paring knife size. Um, which is wonderful. It's also a great steak knife. It did do, uh, we had some salami and we had, there was something else and I can't think of what it was. So we did actually use this one a lot in the kitchen. Um, and I think it's a great kitchen tool because, you know, as I said, you do have that uh, bottle opener there, which is really cool. So this is also great in the kitchen. This is kind of an all around good one. Now, being that it can be great for a bartender, why? Well, the name kind of resembles that, right? They open a lot of bottles. Maybe they need to pry some things open. This is absolutely fabulous for that. So if you're a bartender, this is something good to have in your pocket. Um, maybe you need to cut up some lemons for those drinks. Great. You've got a perfect knife to do it with. And I think that's awesome too. I just think it's awesome. And I just keep saying how awesome it is. And I am so California awesome. <laughs> Therapeutic Edge is laughing at me over there. All right, let's look at some specs for these little guys here, which aren't so little. I mean, you know. All right, so we are looking at uh, about three and a half inch blade length with about a three and a quarter inch cutting edge. Our handle length or close length, one, two, three, four. We're going to call it five inches, but without this um, tool on the back, you're looking at about four and a quarter. Okay, which is going to give you an overall length of about eight and a half inches. Or with the full tool, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, about eight and a half if we line it up right there. 
So that's a really good length. Now, how does that compare to some other knives? Well, let's take a look at it in respect to the bug out. You can see, I consider the bug out to be kind of a medium size. Um, this really is in comparison. You're looking about the same length as far as length of blade and length of handle. Your only difference is gonna be your tool on the end. So really, it's the same size. Let's take a look at it next to the DECA. All right, next to the DECA, again, you're looking at about the same size. The difference is going to be your tool on the end. All right, and lastly, we will take a look at this next to the RAT 2 because we know that's a big knife. Now, just if we go pivot to pivot, all right, you're gonna see that you're just about a half an inch on the blade and about a half an inch on the back end. But because of that tool, if we really line it up, I mean, it's not much smaller in length, okay, not in everything else, but in length to the rat too. So with that tip on it, your little tool, your nice tool here, I would actually call this a large knife simply because of the length. But it is very sleek. It is very comfortable in hand. You know I love that rectangular shape because it really lends into any hand size. Um, it's a huge help. You have a bit of a swell right here, kind of a, I'm gonna call it almost like a palm swell. Um, so it makes it really comfortable in hand. Again, this is another one that I really don't feel like it needs jimping uh, because of the finger placement and where you're holding it. It's just, you don't feel like you're gonna slip. It's really, really comfortable. You know, Therapeutic Edge and I went hiking the other day too and we did, uh, we were chopping some stuff up out there. You know, twigs, nothing big, but we did find some trees where we had some twigs. So some were pretty dry, some were a lot, you know, a lot more damp still or wet. But, uh, so we did chop some of those up and we had a blast doing that. Hello. Hello, Therapeutic Edge. I really like this knife. It's really cool. I really do. I love the fact that it has like the hex bit availability on the back. Mm-hmm. You a little driver back there. Mm -hmm. Got a pry bar on it or Yeah, you screwdriver. don't have to carry your pry bar, so that's awesome. Yep. And we always say don't pry with your knives unless they give you a pry bar. That's right, and then you can. So I'm gonna tell you pry with this knife. But not the knife part. Not the blade. Pry with the pry end. Yeah, you guys, this has just been a fabulous knife, as I said, in hand, super, super comfortable. Absolutely loving that. I love the sleekness of it. Now, it is a bit long to carry in the pocket because when you do put it in your pocket, your pry bar is going to stick out. So, just be careful of that. But, on the waistband, in the back pocket, and for ladies, for those of you that want to, throw it in your purse. Absolutely awesome. This would be a fabulous knife to have in your go bag. Um, maybe you don't want to carry the knife and the pry bar. Awesome. Just carry this because you've got your little pry bar on there. You've got your tool on there, so you don't need to worry about it. As I said, you can always get two so you can switch out your blades. And sometimes, you know, we do that here because sometimes we want the red knife with the black blade. So, um, and Rosecraft Blade, Rosecraft Blades, pardon me, um, has priced all their knives in a very budget-friendly way. And I love that about them. Um, what a great company, up and coming, brand new. They debuted at uh, Blade Show, and that was awesome. We hope to see them again at Blade West coming up. Um, we can't wait. We hope we think they're just going to do some fantastic things. Um, they've got, like I said, some awesome designers, which is going to be awesome. And you're going to see a little bit from each of the des those designers coming up. All right, you guys, this has been a look at the Rosecraft Barra. This was designed by Swags. Again, it does go for $58.99. If you use the code Women Carry Knives, you can get a discount on that. Um, all proceeds that I do make actually go right back into the channel. You guys know that, so I can give back to you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section. You know I love talking to you, and until next time.